Hey guys, Mr. Lucan here. Today we're going to talk about the Explore task. So you might already have something started. If you're in Classroom and you scroll down to Topics and you go to Unit 1, Future of Computing, you might have something you've already turned in that hasn't been graded. If it hasn't been graded, you could start with that. If you have questions about if it was graded or not, you can email me and I can let you know. However, you might have started something for a semester and after learning a little bit more about what's expected, you might decide to go a different route. So anything we've talked about like self-driving cars and GPS, you want to stay away from those and look at something else. So today, oops, sorry. Okay, so today I'm giving you two links one with advice and one without advice. I'm going to go talk about the one without advice just because it's nice and clean. So there's five questions you have to answer. In addition, you have to create an artifact. Now, I'm not going to go in detail about the artifact today. We had some experience doing them first semester, and on Monday, we'll go in more detail about that. However, part A, you can still talk about what is the name of your innovation, and what is its intended purpose and function? A self-driving car is designed to get people from point A to B without having you to drive the car. So talk a little bit about that. You don't have to do B yet because you can't do that until your artifact is complete. Part C is one of the most important parts to this. You want to talk about one benefit and one harmful effect that your computing innovation has. So if you're only talking about benefits you and you can't find any harmful effects, that might be a problem. However, even self-driving cars have both benefits and harmful. Benefits can be, you know, safety. It helps get less crashes and you cite uh, a study or statistics that shows how this many more crashes have been saved using this technology. Harmful effects, it could be financial. It could be with self-driving cars, less people would actually be purchasing cars because more cars would be Uber out. It could be safety. It could be economical. It could be cultural. So you want to do some research and find those. In part D, you want to talk about the data that your innovation uses. So this is going to take some research. The data that self-driving cars use is multifold. It uses high definition cameras to make sure that there's no immediate crashes in close first distance to the sides behind it. In addition, it uses a streaming Wi-Fi to keep track of uh, GPS, of other cars. Um, if there's other cars slowing down in the future or in the road up ahead. So you want to kind of make sure you figure out how your innovation uses data. And if it doesn't use data, then you will want to reconsider it. Another big part of this is what data storage concern is there. In self-driving cars, the biggest issue right now is that there's so much data that a the cars can't handle them yet, which is why we're all not in self-driving cars. So um, don't rely on hacking to answer this question. Like you could, your car could get hacked and you will get crashed. That's not a data concern because anything really could get hacked. So they're not looking for you to use that. In part E, once you find a resource, throw that link into part E so that you can answer that later on. Hey guys, thanks. That's it. Like and subscribe.